Yes! You excited that? Yes! Mm -hmm. Are you excited about more death? You weren't. Were you? <laughs> <laughs> um, Simply because she hasn't finished actually painting her Legion of Nagash army yet. But whoa! Yeah. A massive, massive thank you to Games Workshop for not only sending the two new um, books out, uh, but this. Yes. This. I, I was kind of... Do I want to get the box? Because I really, really want that tyrant. Which... He, I'll be honest, right? I kind of, I kind of jumped ahead, and, and I, I've already built the tyrant. But that's all I've done. He was there on the top, and I built him. And he's a lot better. Oh god, he's so good. Yeah. I hope to God, right, that they actually do eventually manage a box. It would be very good and nice if it they did. Indeed. But, but this is this video is about this box. It certainly is. An old old army with no rules <laughs> versus a totally brand new definitely not Tomb Kings army. <laughs> now you've got to admit Lucy they do look a little bit like Necron Smash with Tomb Kings. I never thought of that but yes. <laughs> See to me though because I didn't know Tomb Kings at all and don't care a bit about Necrons to me the little itty bitty um the little what, 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 the ones. The small Morgast, which is basically what they've been modelled on. Um, but the, yeah, I'm excited about this. Oh, so no, it's such a good box. It is. So yeah, I was excited. <laughs> <laughs> um, in the box, you get all sorts. You actually get. I think we worked out about six to seven hundred points. Yeah. Uh, so you get the six normal augers. You do get two iron guts, and I know a lot of people have been saying, "Well, why when they're in units of three? Uh, uh, they're now in unit of two, which is yes. good. And you get the Iron Blaster, which both of mine were second hand, so I've never actually built one, so I'm actually looking forward to that. Have yours always come with the... The Rhinox? Yeah. Yeah. I've never noticed that before. I was going to say it looks pretty chill now. And uh, the pitter patter of little toes that you hear is Murphy, so please excuse him. But on the Bone Reaper side, you get... Uh, Vok Morton. Or Vok Yeah. These names are very... The, the, what mythology are they from? Egyptian? Yeah, they're, they're very, very Egyptian actually. Um, you get 10 Mortek Guard. You get 3 Necropolis Stalkers, which I believe are dual kits that can be built with uh, Tomb Guard, I think they were yeah. called. Or something like that. And 2 Morgas, which can be built as... I'm not even going to say either of them. The, the Arachi or the, the other one that I can't pronounce. So let's have a look because I know everyone wants to see the new models. Oh, That's the one, they're the easy ones to pronounce. That wasn't building, I swear. <laughs> so this is the little Vostag. Yeah, him. Actually, superbly detailed. Uh, really, really nice model. The Augurs, uh, I believe it or not, Lucy, I've never seen an unbuilt Augur. Really? Yep, I've never seen an unbuilt ogre. So all the extra bits and pieces that I'm going to be getting in this kit, I'm actually looking forward to. Look at Noblers. And, oh, yes. <laughs> I'm excited to build ogres, right? So there's loads of ogres. You've got the lead belchers. They come as a kit of two. And then we've got the iron blaster, which can also build... Ah, I might build a scrap launcher because I don't have one. Oh, yeah, good idea. Um, and then the, that's not the spare sprue, I swear. Uh, so that's the rest of the lead belchers. You've got the Morgast, which if you've built Morgast before, it's a, it's a very familiar kit. That's not what you guys want to see though. You guys want to see the stuff that's down here. Now the sprues look very, very nice indeed. There's lots and lots of parts in here. I think these are the unit of 10 guys. You can see there's 10 body parts on here. The, the de they're actually superbly detailed really and the are. armor, the armor is very much like Nagash's, Arkans and the Morgast, mm -hmm. but smaller. Yep, exactly. So I think they're going to be pretty fun to paint. I hope you're going to actually enjoy them. I will, I think I will actually, <laughs> I think I will, yeah. Uh, and then of course you get the, I can't remember what they're called now, Tomb Stalkers. Were they Tomb Stalkers? I don't know. <laughs> I'm thinking of Necrons again. Uh, but nevertheless, very, very cool. So you get the big blades. It looks as though these can actually be the dual kit because I think you've got the two-handed blade but the single blades as well, uh, as well as glaives. Yeah. So lots and lots of options uh, in that kit as well. I'm actually looking forward to building them because Lucy doesn't build. <laughs> Shh. 
However, wouldn't be complete without the, the poster. poster. Yep. Absolutely fantastic. You I mean, need to create a wall with one I've got paper of all these. I've got all of them, yeah. Yeah. I love the fact that he's like inside of a tomb I though. I love it. That is just... <laughs> is that the one that's in the box? Yeah, yeah. Oh, brilliant. Yeah. And then you've got two more ghasts flying over the top. Oh, yeah. yeah. Inside, however... Oh, we've actually got brilliant. some War Scroll cards. Let's have a look and see what is actually with the War Scroll cards. Well, that's going to help straight away. So, what have we got? The Tyrant. We've got the Necropolis Stalkers. We've got Ogre Glutens, which they're now called instead of Bulls. We've got Morgast. Mortec Guard is what the other variation was called instead of the uh, Necropolis Stalkers. Vok Motion, the Master of the Bone Tithe. Lead belches and of course the iron blaster. We will go through all the new war scrolls and whatnot in the book reviews yes. because augurs I feel are very good and I'm quite excited about the bone reaper stuff. So typical instructions: we've got colours about what to paint them up yep. uh, and the full mm -hmm. instructions of how to build them as well. So very nice. But then we've got the feast of bones. I always love these little books. We never have time to play the little story oh, missions, we, do we? We will have to one day. So we've got the Feast of Bones, Rulers, Grave Sites, I think, I'm going to guess, and of course a manual of the core rules. But in here, we've got of course all of the uh, points for them. Oh, there's battalions in here as well. Ah. Um, the rules for each of them. A Final Burial is the name of the final mission. Death to Tyrants. No deal. And then, of course, you've got um, Region of War, so that's for the uh, realm that they're fighting in. So you've got little rules there as well. And, of course, plenty of pictures for people who are starting two armies. And I think for anybody who loves the old-style world with the Augurs, it's a very good box. For anybody that wants to get into New Death, yes. it's also a very, very good box. It is slightly more expensive than the other boxes that have come out, Bar and Blood of the Phoenix, which is a different story. But based on what's in here... I'm quite excited about some of this stuff and I'm super excited yeah. about the augers. It is such a nice box because it is for two two mates. Haven't played in 20 years. Ah, oh, let's give it a try. Four halves. They've got a nice little start army. And that's the thing I've heard a lot. People try to play, start learning and play the games with full 2,000 point lists. Yeah. With so many different units. But by this, you and your mate few little units yeah get used to them you might not even enjoy them and you might think actually from what i've seen i like that unit instead it, it, it's a nice little throwback as well because as much as these as much of the bone reapers are a new army if you haven't played since warhammer fantasy they're, they're the closest thing to tomb kings that aren't tomb kings because mm. they don't sell tomb kings anymore and then of course you've still got the ogres uh which is fantastic so i'm gonna go and build that tyrant right now uh and if by the magic of time travel, everything has worked out okay. You can actually go and see him in a battle report right now. Fingers crossed. <laughs> but so, don't forget to check out the big reviews where we'll be doing each battle tome review. Yeah. From start to finish for this guy. And changes. And these. Yeah. There's been quite a few changes. So thanks for watching. Yep. Yeah, thanks for watching, guys. And see you again very soon.